around us here you can see our magnificent five acres of formal gardens, which have a collection of not only themed gardens, our beautiful main lawn where people picnic, our hedge maze, turf maze and kids maze are all in this area. The next area is our five acres of bush block just off to your left, where we have uh, amazing little complicated puzzles for people to do and our wonderful new attraction that is Tree Surfing Australia. Further across are the giant tube slides, which is a product that's come out of the Italian ski industry, and they're 100 metre uh, tube slide or giant slides that exist down the slope. And further on are more mazes, puzzles, obstacles, attractions, and the amazing indoor 3D maze. So this is, uh, this is our property. Uh, we'd like to take you for a bit of a walk around. We've expanded our tree surfing product. We now have a product that suits kids aged under 10 to about the age of 4. Oh, I need so, to see where that is. So that's our, what we call our new Nippers tree surfing, which is about, to open, which is about to open in a week. <laughs> that's a good name, yeah. by oh, John. Yeah. The day is his to do And this is our new path across to our new corporate oh, like social and marquee. Oh, this is yeah. nice. And they're there. They're just all Isn't it, John? You can see that you can spend a while wandering around here. I love the coffee. Mm -hmm. It's just in the corner somewhere. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. even, yeah, even there. Yeah. Yeah. So this is our new Nippers course. This is primarily aged between 10 and 4 year olds. Um, so if kids are under a metre they'll have adults with them and uh, all their parents. And this is uh, about uh, 18 different challenges here for kids. It'll take them about an hour to do at levels between about 4 and 2.5 and metres above the ground. They also have the opportunity to do a couple of zip lines as well. And it's a great little one hour activity for young kids. Right, this, one okay. this is the oh, Nippers course here. This is part of the other course. No, this is all it. So this is one course yeah, yeah, yeah. here, and then the other one goes around through yeah. there. Good. And then the zip lines run off down through the middle. So. Oh, yeah. Great, so then you'll short big course, so you have to change. Yeah. I've told him about this place, but. So this is actually a pobble bonk frog. These were Boonarong people who were. Uh, original uh, tribes people of this area, um, housed up here at uh, Wonga, um, and these were these are sculptures of these two quite famous and some of the last Boonarong that lived in this area permanently. He's an Australian wedge tail eagle. Uh, they're indigenous to this area. We have a couple of breeding pairs on the property still. Uh, they're a big bird. That's a, a life-size representation of of what they look like, and they grow actually probably a little bit bigger than that again. This is our bed spring maze. These are made from bed springs, uh, which obviously have had all uh, the foam pulled off them. These bed springs are some of the hardest things to recycle in the world. Also, it gives you a very different maze because you can actually see through it. Yeah. So it actually doesn't actually make it easier, it actually makes it harder. Look, that's one of the most common questions I get. How do, how do I get through a maze? Either stay right, stay left, follow a trail. The simp simple answer is, I always believe, the first thought in the of direction you've got is the best and just follow that way. So a couple are starting the course now, John. So once they've done that, they get to start the big one. So I act like kids again.